This is your Inside Iokuni new strike. The Marine Corps' amphibious heritage was earned the hard way across the Pacific, and many lost their lives during Operation Forager, the namesake of Exercise Forager Fury 2. Corporal Anthony Reyes sat down with Brigadier General Stephen Rudder to discuss the operation. This is one of a series of several exercises that we initiated a few years ago. Now it's evolved into all three of our F-18 squadrons, include our KC-130s, MV-22s, and EA-6Bs. This is our ability to exercise how we move a Marine Air Group with our strike aircraft from Air Station Iwakuni, how we put them into an expeditionary environment to include all the complementary supporting elements, and then we begin our operations. Tinian allows us to put a lot of Marines in the field and build those expeditionary runways, make clearings, set up radars, set up comm nodes in an environment where there is no infrastructure to start from. So we're truly in the field. What Marine Air Group 12 has done out here is exactly what our mission set calls for. Take the MAG and all its critical assets and rapidly deploy them, put them in the field, and start operations. They have established really a foothold, an expeditionary containment, if you will. We've got 500 or so Marines on Tinian right now, living in tents, operating vehicles, clearing runways. We just landed our first KC-130 on the old Baker runway uh, that has been around since World War II. They've cleared Charlie and Dog runways that were completely overgrown. This is what they do. They're building an expeditionary runway environment out there. It's truly amazing uh, what they've done so far. It's a tribute to really what we think of Marine Wing as flying airplanes. But what we do sometimes better than anything else is build runways and provide command and control, air traffic control, and we have a complete small little city out there of expeditionary enablers that are running a pretty tight ship and doing some great things out there. Reporting from Tinian, I'm Corporal Anthony Reyes. Brigadier General Rudder would like to thank Guam and Tinian for providing superior support for the Marines and says both islands have a user-friendly environment for the United States Marine Corps and 1st Marine Aircraft Wing. Thanks for watching. Keep watching AFM Prime Channel's Pacific and Atlantic for more news from around your community with your Inside Iwakuni news update.